things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And now it's grabbed by Turkov. Quick shot. And a textbook pass save there. And the puck stopped loose. LA's got a hold of the puck now. Denies him on the one-timer. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. What pressure here in the offensive end. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Kopitar is holding the face off here in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Dowdy. Looks to get the puck over to Kopitar. The Kings played along the boards. That's blocked by Skinner. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Driving right to the front. Scores! And look at that. They are quickly on the board, and the crowd is going, what happened? Well, if only it started that way all the time, exactly the way the coach would have drawn it up. But you certainly want to dictate pace when you are on the road, and you want to take the crowd out of it early. The Oilers get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. Gets it over to Yanmar. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry and you skate in practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck over to Yanmar. Solid check to slow him down. Into the offensive end now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Moore is so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a the inside post. Edmonton's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. Here they come on the attack. Dishes it to Perry. Looking to make something happen at center. Sends it in on the attack. Works it across to Dubois. The Kings move it in. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Hammers it. Blocked in traffic. The Oilers gain possession. Unable to reach that one. Scoops up the puck behind the net. And now he moves it quickly to Fogel. Gaining steam here on the attack. The Oilers will take it behind the net. Talbot's made a great save there, and everyone can breathe a sigh of relief coming off of that blowout last game in the playoffs. Important to reset a good one, and he gets a good start. Poked away in the offensive end. Receives the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Handles the pass. Shot! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, he got a quick stop! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Edmonton's got a 2 0 lead. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. LA's got a hold of the puck. From off the boards, he sends it into the open ice. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Handles the puck. And that's poked away by Ingram. 
And he slides it quickly to Turkov. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Looks to set up at the point now. Can't keep a hold of it. Blocked away by Talbot. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. The Oilers have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. The Kings win the draw. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here they come on the rush. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Takes the shot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Edmonton's in transition. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Edmonton's on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Muberare. Los Angeles takes it across the line. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Slides it quickly to Yanmark. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. The Oilers have it against the wall. And that's a great heads-up play by Doughty. And it's a quick pass to Muberare. Taken along the wall by Byfield. The Oilers take it along the wing. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to McLeod. And he takes the feed. It's in, they score! It takes a deflection off a skating in. Well, at first I wasn't sure if it went directly in, but it did it. Redirected off of the skate. And this is a tough break. If you're the defensive team, you're in good position. Just trying to box out, and the next thing you know, it's in the back of your net. came hungry to play this one and they lead as a result here in the first. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Quick pass to Eckholm. Taken by Hyman. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Sends it out in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Edmonton's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Moore. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Edmonton's got him along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kavrikov. The Kings take it along the wall. And now it's over to Hyman. Makes his presence known on the ice. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. The Oilers are really enjoying it out there. I'd say they're having a ton of fun, especially when you look at the scoreboard. It's hard not to. Los Angeles gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You got to find a way to just reset your composure. Man advantage unit is set. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick feed to McLeod. Oh, and he just puts it wide on that. And he keeps possession. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, he got all of that. Got a save by Talbot. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Deneau's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Kings win it in the defensive zone. Here they come. Sends it into the offensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. A 
up along the wing. He almost gets the stars! And he completes the hat trick there! Uh, you gotta love it, James. I mean, he really brings it when he's on the road, right? And he's been all over the puck, and he has just silenced the crowd. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage, you open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. The Oilers have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Edmonton's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. The Oilers carry it along the wall. And that's intercepted by Anderson Dolan. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Bouchard's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Kane. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the halfway mark of this period. Edmonton's now up by four. Play results as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Made the stop on the play. Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. The Oilers have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. The Kings win the face-off. Fantastic save! Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Roy. Feeds it to Kavrikov. Los Angeles has it against the half wall. Great on ice awareness to bat it down. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Puck jump down and the forwards are gonna skate off. Moves it to Roy. And he takes the feed. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick pass to Brown. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. Dropped him in the open ice. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Perry. Now a quick pass to Nurse. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puts it on net. And that goes on the player in front. Feeds it down low. Off his stick. That's off his stick. Tries to feed it over to Lewis. Los Angeles will play the puck from the corner. Passes it to Perry. Edmonton's on the attack. Fires it on net, and he shuts the door on that. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Edmonton's built themselves a large lead, and there are still more than two periods to play here. The Kings come up with a defensive zone draw.
Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Oilers have really extended this lead. It's looking like a squash now. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the dots. Moves it quickly over to Yanmark. He scores! The way players train in this technology are a reason why a shot like this gets off so quickly, James. Absolutely incredible speed with the amount of time to get it off the stick. That's the real deal breaker. Edmonton's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on that seems to find the back of it. And they lead it late in the first. Deneau's won the drop center. period. The Kings win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Shoot, shoot, From the shoot. point, hammers a shot! And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Present your ticket stub from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Bunsville Burgers Family Restaurants. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Oilers have a comfortable lead, and they've earned it, James. I mean, they've held the majority of possession times, and they found something to do with it. They just haven't hung out on the outside. They've known exactly when to attack. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Great read with the stick. Moves it to the middle. have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. LA's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Fiala's hooping in on the attack. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Janmark stick handling in his own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Offensive zone by Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers have it now. Quick pass across to Perry. Knocked away with the stick by Gavrikov. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Here's a short pass to Dubois. And they continue to apply pressure here. Grabbed along the board by Echo. Across the line. LA's got the puck along the boards. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Hammers the shot. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! Edmonton's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Los Angeles wins possession right off the draw. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he takes the dish. Moves it to Kellyev. And now he moves it quickly to Lazat. The Oilers.
Bruce had a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. Los Angeles has possession of it now. Gains the zone through center. There's a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Kopitar is the leader of this team, and who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. The Oilers have it from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. The Kings take it across the blue line. Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Edmonton's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Kings win that offensive zone faceoff. Well, Shanner, it was, James. Looks like he's trying to go over the goaltender's shoulders and just misses. Los Angeles is across the line and in the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Quick feed to D'Arnais. Takes the pass. Pucks it away in his own end. Blocked by Riddick. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Picked up along the wall by Kopitar. Here's a chance with the stop. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. McLeod's going to play it against the half wall. Snaps one for the stop. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty. Well, your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. McDavid's quick stick lands in the puck here at center. Edmonton's looking to break out. Plays the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Dowdy. Edmonton's got the puck. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Oh, he got pulled by Skinner. Edmonton's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Gavrikov. LA's in now. Great reach with the puck check by CeCe. Moves it to the middle. beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Kings now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. But a lot of work to do to make that happen. Puck grab by Roy. The Kings looking against the half wall. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. Fires it on net. Turns him away. Scooped up along the wall by Anderson Dora. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Sends a pass over. Nugent Hopkins continues to push the offense in this game by his puck distribution. He knows exactly where everyone is on the ice and he's creating speed because he's opening up lanes and he's hitting his target. Los Angeles plays it along the wing. Quick feed to Lazar. Puck is ground here inside the offensive end by Roy. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Lewis. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he 
thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick, and he misses wide. Kane's got the puck. Oh, stick save for the few. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out One next day. to the shooter and makes the save. And that's off target as it hits the body. Rocks him. And he slides it quickly to Gagne. Can't keep a hold of it. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Fiala. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Dino is known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. And the puck skips away after that move. Fialo's got it along the boards. Sends the feet in front. And that chance is blocked. Grips it and breaks it. Pumped away. Oh, turns it aside once again. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Turn that chance aside. Riddick's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. The Kings move the puck in the defensive zone. Los Angeles jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. On the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Slides the puck over. And that goes off a player. And takes the feed. Drives it to the crease. Big time stop. Oh, it just gets a piece of it. Quick pass over to Dreisaitl. Into the attacking area from the left side. Fires it. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Oh, a stop with the paddle. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Oilers gain possession. And now he moves it to Perry. Break away. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Edmonton's gain possession. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Anderson Dolan. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by McLeod. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Roy's picking up steam. in good position and forces that shot. The Oilers have it against the wall. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. The Oilers have played against the wall. And they made the save to keep that one out of the net. Oh, they do it again! What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Edmonton's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty as they take a sizable lead here late in the second. Los Angeles has the puck here off the faceoff. Here they come up along the wing. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Deneau. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. Great save. Into the corner of the attacking area. Here's a shot. Denies him with the save. Chance in front. And a new pass. Another pass. Moves it again. And that's Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. It has been a thorough dismantling for the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Edmonton's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. He doesn't like the call, but it's the ref's discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. They take possession as he locks it up off the faceoff. Slides it diagonally to Yanmark. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Sends it quickly to Dowdy. Slides it across to Fiala. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's a shot! Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. LA's got the puck. With some open space at center. Moves it to Moore. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Hyman's almost ready to get back on the ice. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. LA's in on the offensive attack now. Right in the slot. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Here's a shot. Oh, close save and a beauty. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Los Angeles has played well tonight, but have struggled in the goal-scoring department despite numerous good looks on net. Puck scooped up by Dowdy. Taken by Dreisaitl. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a club save. Wow. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Oilers take possession here inside the offensive zone. Slides it across to Turcotte. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on six. Well saved by Ritter. Los Angeles has possession of the puck. The Oilers ready to get on the attack. Los Angeles has it behind the net. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And it's a quick pass to Lewis. Now a quick pass to Kopitar. Shot! Oh, what a great save by Skinner! We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Continuing to get a number of shot opportunities and offensive chances. Just stick with it and eventually another one will go in. LA's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Lasats won the face off and now let's see what they can do. From the right side, they gain the zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Up the neutral zone now. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Perry. Los Angeles gains a hold of it. 
McLeod's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity, that's courage, and finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Oilers win the draw. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Here's a chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. LA's got it, and they're on the attack. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Yanmark. Takes the hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Fiala. Way too much, congestion blocks that. Oh, he gets a blocker on him, what a stop by Skinner. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. The Oilers will serve two for slashing. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Slides it back to the blue line. Moves it to Dowdy. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bear down the bottom hand as well, but he's unable to convert. And he maintains possession of the puck here. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Take it along the wall by Kopitar. Big stop right there. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Trying to clear. Sticks it all that. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick shot. Oh, a good save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Deneau's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nugent Hopkins wins possession in the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Works it across to Dubois. Haynes almost back on the ice. Power play is over, both teams back to even strength. Power play had the opportunity. Oh, so good! Oh my goodness, what a score! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Oh, he makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. They've got numbers here. Oh, what a save with the glove by Skinner. The Oilers take the puck through the neutral zone. And that's knocked away by Spence. On the left wing, takes the feed. Change it up. The Kings it up. carry it along the wall. Yeah. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Lumps the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. Edmonton's got possession at center. Moves the puck. Quick pass to Byfield. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Here's the rip. Great glove save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. LA's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. The Kings take possession off the side. Front. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. The Kings win it. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a chance! Nichols tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Gets to the bench for the extra decision. The body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. 
Eagles. set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face-off. LA's won the face-off. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers played along the wing. Tipped in front. Great save by the goaltender to get a pot on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Sent into the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Dreisaitl's been buzzing out there, James, tonight. And he already has a goal. This is a blowout game. A time to have the stats. Doughty's got it in the defensive end. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Passes out front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Edmonton's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Bouchard. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say it's different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looks comfortable. Delay penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. What an ugly game. You're down by a bunch of goals, and you take a penalty. Really, it's inconsequential as the game is out of hand. So frustrating. Face-off. Here's a change. The Kings win the draw on their own end. Nine. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Moves it to the middle. And that's blocked in front. Shot. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Kings win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Stop that one. Los Angeles gets a strong effort from their penalty killer. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Los Angeles is set to go back to work on the power play. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Puck picked up by Nurse. 
trying to clear the zone. And that's off the glass and out. And there's one non-negotiable. If you're going to be on a PK, James, and that is you got to get the clear, and this is done perfectly. With such a comfortable lead, James, I don't really think this penalty is going to make a difference. LA's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. For the long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it or you have to fire it. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. Puck slid down the ice. Fialo's carrying it ahead. Final minute. Full oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all by him. Power play goal. Well, especially often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they take advantage of their opportunity. Well, this is a really impressive shot, James. I mean, I'm looking at this going, man, I don't know if any goaltender would have stopped this. The way he was able to move his feet, corral that puck quickly with that quick release, the snap of the wrist to be able to put it by the tendy. Los Angeles has to continue to press and attack here in period number three. Yeah, it was a nice play there to convert on that goal, but they need the other lines to get going, the other deep pairings as well to jump into the attack. They need just a lot load of goals here if they want to even have an opportunity of winning this game. The Kings will play it from the defensive zone. Steps across the blue line. Knocked away. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. 